Welcome to the Jet Institute of Learning. This is Barbecue 2, and we're here to take you to the next level, giving you your first lesson in the seven liberal arts. Now, out of the seven liberal arts, grammar is our first because it lets us know what we are communicating about. Reading is the skill we're going to talk about within grammar on the first level. And the first thing we need to know is the benefits of reading. Not only does it allow us to communicate with a multitude of people, it allows us to change behavior and it allows our behavior to be changed. But this skill is very, very difficult as well to develop. If not taught properly, we can develop problems breaking down the word so that when we try to break it down and decipher it or blend it or decode it at the phonetic level, it's extremely difficult, which then makes fluency reading of the words at a fast enough rate so that you can decipher the text another chore making everything regarding reading something that nobody wants to engage in but we're here to talk about how to address every single area so that we master that first level of grammar bringing us one step closer to enlightenment and becoming our true self okay really quickly let's go through those five areas that we'll be discussing in further detail. Number one, you have the concepts of print. Next level is phonics and phonemic awareness. Fluency, comprehension, vocabulary. Now, in concepts of print, I told you there's some key things you want to look out for. The directionality of the text. Are we reading up and down like we do in ancient Egypt or Kemet? Or do we read from left to right like we do in the United States? Do we use characters? Or do we use letters? Concepts of print. Next, we gotta go to phonics and phonemic awareness. Basically, how do I break down our code into the simplest form? In the United States, we speak English. We use the English language. That means breaking down each letter, identifying every letter, and then identifying the sounds that they make. A says A, B says B, C says K. That helps us to build fluency. Fluency is the ability to read at a rate with enough pace, inflection, prosody, and tone to be able to decipher and break down the code. Once we do that, we get to the level of comprehension, which is breaking down the code, being able to put it back into your own words, and be able to change your behavior according to the text. By doing so, we also can then build our vocabulary, which then increases our comprehension. These are the five areas of reading that we will talk about when we master grammar and become one step closer to becoming our true and higher selves. Okay, so let's talk about the first three levels of the five areas of reading. You have the concepts of print. Very important are the directionality. Which way do we read the text? Left to right, up or down? What's the beginning? Where's the end? How do I identify the middle? These are concepts of print are key regardless of what language you learn or what society you're in. Phonemic awareness. Identifying that each letter has a corresponding sound and those sounds can be blended together to make a cohesive word. Master that level will allow us to be fluent readers. Reading with enough rate, words per minute, we can say how fast we're going. With enough prosody, it's our voice jumping and dropping with the sentence. Do we start high as the sentence begins and drop it at the end? And a couple of other very important keys in the area of fluency that we'll continue with in just a second. Now with the second layer that we're going to talk about at the fluency level, we're going to talk about inflection and tone. Inflection is your ability to jump at a moment's notice or drop at a moment's notice. Do you have that inflection? Also, your tone. Are you projecting onto the text what you're attempting to convey? Now, building that comprehension, because that's the actual decipherment of the code, the reworking of the code to put it back into your own words, allowing you to communicate with others, and for you to get information from others, also allowing you to change others' behavior as well as have your behavior changed. And lastly, you gotta build the vocabulary. Do I have enough tools in my toolbox? words in my vocabulary in order to break down any code when I come to it. Those are the tools to break down the code. Okay, so now that we've mastered each of those levels, 
we have to talk about the importance of daily practice. Just because we've mastered the phonemic awareness level or the fluency or the comprehension level, we have to engage in daily practice at the lowest deficit skill. So if we've mastered everything there is to master about phonemic awareness, then there's no need to address that area. But if we're fluent, but not fluent enough, we need to start working on that every single day. Daily practice with high interest material. I cannot stress high interest enough. Just because we're reading does not mean that we're getting any better. High interest allows the soul to come out and grab. It allows the dopamine, serotonin, and melanin to come out and grab the material and do things with it that you never thought possible. It's our first step to mastering grammar, our first liberal art, and becoming one step closer to becoming our true and living higher self.